Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Taurians. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Taurus, hope you all are having a fantastic day today. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Of course, Taurus, you're having a great day today. No matter what, you're having a great day today. This is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Again, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates with you. And you may want to go watch some of the other videos, but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in a personal reading. My information is down below. Let's do this thing, Taurus. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Taurians. It relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, spirituality, and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Taurians? Yes, Taurus. What do we have for you? Now, we're going to be talking about death, rebirth. We're going to be talking about the number nine, right? And your ruling planet, which is Venus. Yes, so Taurus. Yes, Venus actually governs the way you love, beauty, creativity, money, your values, sentiments, how you create, what brings you pleasure, and that's exactly what you're going to be focused on, focusing on now. We're moving towards a new moon. Look at all this money popping up. Boom, all this money. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, Taurus, let's do this, okay? Some of you all have been in absolutely heartbreaking situations where when you cried out, you didn't even realize your ancestors were right there watching over you, right? So this heartbreak is getting ready to turn to getting to the heart of the matter, right? So there's heartbreak, okay, relationship is ending, it's heartbreaking, but I've been giving it a lot of thought, right? So you've been ruminating over it for a while, but you were over it, just seriously, just completely over it, right? So yeah, as heartbreaking as it is, you got to move on. You got to move on. You got to move on. And it feels like you're by yourself, but guess what? You were never by yourself to begin with. Even while you were like this, and even when you thought you were by yourself, you were never by yourself. Never. Never by yourself, or you never alone. So, yes, so heartbreaking as it seems, as crippling as it may seem, as feel like, okay, this is the end of my life, is is the end of a chapter of your life. This is a new beginning, new chapter of your life. So, yes, mm -hmm. some of you all have been in emotionally, mentally, physically abusive relationships with people, and it was heartbreaking. Yeah, but you're at a New beginning of your life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. New beginning. Well-deserved beginning, right? It was even costing you money. It was even hindering you. You've been sitting in front of this vault for cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle. You've been sitting in front of this vault. Now you realize I have the key to open this vault, right? Yes. Manifesting a great deal of money, which is a lot of money. You've been working really hard, earning a lot of money. But guess what? That relationship was blocking all of this. That relationship was blocking an enormous amount of money for you. So you had to think, I need to make a decision. Do I move on by myself after this heartbreak? It may be heartbreaking for me. It may be heartbreaking for a lot of other people involved. But this is where you choose you. This is where you choose you. You're focusing on loving yourself. Focusing on things that are beautiful to you your creativity, your money, your values, your sentiments, how you create, what brings you pleasure. Yes, fully operating under your ruling planet, which is Venus, right? Let's talk about the number nine for just a second, because again, number nine is the number of transformation. Something needs to end to begin again, right? Something needs to die in order to be reborn, right? Thus, nine can regenerate itself over and over and over and over and over again, and it exhibits a great determination, right? Yes, Taurus, great determination, something you all are not foreign to, that's not foreign to you. Um, in this situation right here, like I said, the ending of a relationship is devastating for some people. The ending of a relationship could have meant that the family member passed away. It could have meant that a job ended. It could have remembered a relationship. It could um, be that 
a romantic relationship ended, but nevertheless, the relationship ended. It was heartbreaking for you, but you were able to finally get to the heart of the matter after you sat down and you gave it some long thought. I need to end this. I, I need to I need to move on. I need to move on because that staying in a relationship like this hindered everything. Hindered your money, hindered everything, hindered the beautiful life that was always wait has always been waiting for you, right? The number nine a person a number nine person is a person who is warm, outgoing, loving with a dramatic flair. They exude a magnetic personality that allows them to get along with pretty much everyone. Number nines are compassionate, they're romantic, they're filled with unconditional love, they're kind, they're empathetic, they're very patient, they're tolerant and wise. Number nines are an inspiration and they're compassionate humanitarian. And they have a great deal of idealism and strong willpower. So number nines also have a very powerful personality. So when you stepped into the vibration of the number nine, for you, it was like, okay, enough is enough. I've been ruminating over this for a while. I need to move on. Seriously, I just need to move on, right? But what I'm getting here for this particular reading, because I know the ending of the relation of relationship could mean multiple things. But what I'm getting specifically for this reading right here is... Had you stayed in that relationship, then it literally would have killed you. Yeah, it literally would have killed you. So it was better for you to move on. You gave it a lot of thought, and this thing was just disrupting too much of what the universe wanted to release to you. So yes, yes. So yeah, time to move on to bigger and better things. Yes, this person is going to try to come back because they think that they have that kind of a hold on you all. Like I said, you all are... You all are um, very magnetic. People look to you all as being a solid base um, for them, them, being an anchor, like because you all are loyal. And I want you all to say, I am a Taurus, right? Because sometimes it just it helps to remember just how powerful you are, especially when there's a heartbreak involved. I'm a Taurus. I'm a very logical thinker. I am generous and trustworthy. I am determined. I am understanding. I'm very kind. I'm organized. I'm very patient. I am reliable. I am practical. I am devoted. I'm responsible. I'm stable. But more importantly, I am a God. I can mend my own broken heart, right? I can mend my own broken heart. And how do you do that? First step is leaving. First step. I can get to the heart of the matter. Why did I let someone overstay their welcome in my space? Yeah, that was literally killing me. Yes. So when I walked away, I came out unscathed because I've been through the fire, right? I came out unscathed. Yes. Yes, indeed. Woo, yes, indeed. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> you're now feeling magnetic. You're happy. You're free. You got your fire back. Yeah. All as a result of leaving an unhealthy relationship, you got your fire back. For a minute, they had your head like this, a little looking down into a black hole, looking down into the abyss. This was your perspective while you were in the relationship, sad, right? Heartbroken. In that relationship, you were actually zombified. <clears throat> they were actually sucking the life out of you, right? So, but now that you've walked away from that relationship, you're getting up from this space right here and you're looking at all this expansion. Look at all these stars. Yeah, you're looking at all this expansion. You're just feeling better about life in general. Yeah, you're feeling more grateful. You're in this posture of gratitude, me, myself, and I. Yeah, you see three people, right? All parts of you are grateful. You're whole. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're happy. You're free. Just feeling so much better with life. Yeah. And when I tell you, the person never thought that you would leave. They thought that, okay, Taurus is loyal to the soil. They are never going to leave me. Never. There's nothing. Where are they going to go? What, what are they going to do? All right. But when you finally decided to leave, that's when they realized, oh, shoot, I had a really good thing with Taurus. Like, nobody else is going to be loyal to me like a Taurus was. And they're right. <laughs> they created their own karma. But look at you. <clears throat> you left with more knowledge and wisdom. This is not baggage. I want you to be clear. This is not baggage. Matter of fact, you left with more knowledge and wisdom, right? And so, again, you're going to use this in business and make more money because you're going to be booked and busy. Yes, Taurus. Uh-huh. There's a lot of emotions attached here. The majority of the cards that I'm looking at for you are have to deal with your emotions and creativity. 
But instead of looking at this as baggage, you got to the heart of the matter. When I say you're about to be booking, booked and busy in your business, Taurus, get ready, get ready, and get ready. I'm serious. You're about to receive a big yes. You're going to be walking, you're walking out away from your past. You will soon, soon start to feel more hopeful about getting exactly what you want. Yes. Yeah. Your mind's about to be blown. Yes. Journal it. Journal all the things that you went through. Yes. All of them. Everything that you went through. Journal this. Because it is going to blow your mind when you look back and read. Like getting to the heart of the matter. As a result, like you're starting to see everything <clears throat> turn around for you. Once that relationship ended, you said, okay, oh my gosh, everything is happening for me. Like that vault door is swinging wide open. I'm making more money than I've ever made before. My business is booked and busy. I'm on fire. I'm feeling great about life. And that's what I have for you, Taurus. Congratulations. Congratulations. And congratulations. Yes, I knew your reading wasn't going to be that long because I can feel it when I'm shuffling the cards and seeing like wonderful things happening for you all. So I want you all to journal this journey that you're on because it's really going to blow your mind. It's really going to blow your mind. So Taurus, one thing I want to mention to you all before I close out this video, because you all are fixed signs, I do not want you all to get fixated on the what, where, who, when, and why. Don't get fixated on the past, right? Leave that behind. Just forget about it, right? Moving forward, what you want to do is focus on your future. Your here and now and your future, which you deem as your future, but I see it for you right now, that you are booked and busy, that you're manifesting a great deal of money, that the vault doors are swinging wide open, that you're finally living the life that you that was intended for you from the beginning. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Have a great one.